the high boost 3.0 Appreciate High Boost reaching out to me to offer to do this sponsored video for their 3.0 version of the truck cell phone signal booster. Perfect timing because I'm going through some upgrades on the truck right now, adding a roof vent, I'm making the solar panels finally tilt, and we're adding in things like a cell booster to give us more options for internet connectivity wherever we go. This is the truck version. They sent me the truck version, but there is an RV version, which comes with the folding antenna if you want to put it on the roof of your truck. I don't really have a lot of room up there anymore, so you can if you have on yours, but we're going to do a side view mirror install today with the 3.0 truck cell phone booster. You got your booster. We got some antennae, extend Oreos. Got the internal antenna, the external antenna. And in combination with our mounting brackets, we are gonna put this on the side view mirror. I don't have my sockets handy, so I'm just doing this. Threading the antenna through the pole. It does come with two poles. I'm only going to use one. Now, where do we put this? Just go right through. Go straight through the door. There's already a hole right here. I can drill straight through that. Does that not go all the way through? There's another layer. Bro. Ugh. Easy. Where do I go from here? I can go into the door. easy. Now, I am doing this the hard way. I mean, this thing can be mounted pretty much anywhere, so you put it on your roof. I'm deciding to put mine on the side view mirror, so the installation process is a little bit more difficult than it has to be, I think, because if I just put it on the roof, drill a quick hole through, it'd be good to go there. But out of the roof space that I do have, I need to save for some other things. So we got the antenna coming in through the door, going through the door into the main cabin, and from there, we can go pretty much anywhere we need to. Good as new. I'm already feeling boosted. Now that we're in the truck, we're going to promptly leave the truck by going down and out underneath. Oh yeah, I forgot I went and I did a rhino liner on this. That's nice. So the amplifier itself, which connects the outside antenna with the inside antenna, boosts the signal. This does come with a power supply for a 12 volt car plug, but we're going to use this to hardwire it into my 12 volt panel on the inside. It's an easy way to hook it up if you want to plug it into your dash, but for more permanent installations, we can do a little modification. We got our signal cable coming into our electrical cabinet. This is actually an extension that I had laying around because the one that came with it wasn't long enough. So if you need one longer than 15 feet, when it comes with, you might need an extension. All we gotta do is uh, hook this up to the extender, the booster, I mean. breaker panel. 
Solid blue. Just need the internal antenna, and I think we're done. And at this point, if I were getting any cell signal, it would be getting amplified by this. I'm actually getting two bars right now inside my metal shop. Let me turn the power off. So for now, I'm just gonna mount this up above my inverter in the electrical cabinet. Should give me good signal everywhere inside the truck. It does come with a bunch of adhesive and Velcro, so you can put this pretty much anywhere you need to. All right, so I brought the truck out of the shop so the antenna has access to a natural radio signal that's not blocked by a metal shop. And uh, we're gonna test and see what we get. This is a perfect place to test it because I already have bad signal out here anyway. I'm, I'm lucky if I get like two bars, fairly remote as is. So I'm gonna go in the truck. We're gonna turn the signal booster off, see what we get, turn it on, see what we get. Just gonna unplug this first and then we'll get a baseline reading true cell signal if I were camping in this area in my truck because any natural signal still has to come through the walls of the truck and right now I have precisely zero bars I have absolutely nothing I've plugged in the booster I go from zero bars to three bars with LTE and let me pop a quick speed test on this so I would otherwise have no connectivity in here if I was camping in here right now where I'm at. With the cell booster, I'm getting 22, 23, 24, about 25 meg down, which is pretty good. That's more than enough than I would need to do anything. So 25 meg down, zero bars, no LTE, to three bars, 25 meg down off of my 4G here. But overall, I think that's just a great connectivity enhancement to the truck. It can be on the middle of absolutely nowhere, maybe one bar and still have full connectivity. To upload YouTube videos, of course, maybe at some point in the future, I should do like a remote wilderness survival challenge in the truck. So thanks again to High Boost for providing the truck booster. Keep in mind, they do have different versions. This was the truck version 3.0, so it's been rehashed a few times with some updates and improvements. I gotta say, as far as cell boosters go, pretty simple to install, works as we've already seen here. Happy to finally get that cell booster functionality added to the truck here. Now we gotta move on to adding some ventilation capabilities. So we're gonna be adding a 12 inch roof vent right next to our roof hatch above the sleeping area to get some air circulation going through the truck here. One of my first videos I ever did for the build on this truck was for the solar panel array. And in the design I built in tilting functionality but I could never figure out the actual physics of how to get it to tilt. I had a couple prototype tilting mechanisms but it kind of fell by the wayside over the years because the tilting mechanism is not necessarily too critical to the operation of the truck itself. So basically I've had these solar panels on a giant hinge this whole time but I've never had anything to actually lift them up. Step one in getting some actual movement on these solar panels is going to start with me getting the roof prepped. We're gonna come up here and actually clean off the roof. We're gonna get the panels tilted manually so I have access to the brackets. I can drill the holes I need to, run the wires, and then we're gonna go from there.
I'm using a product called RV Proof by Everbond. And if you're asking me why I never have my roof coated in the first place, I couldn't really tell you. I don't know why I neglected to coat the roof in anything since the start. It's not like it really necessarily needed anything. There's no leaking. But this is a great practice just to help some of that heat and sun prevent from getting into the living space. Now that everything's prepped and I have accessed everything I need on the roof, I'm gonna weld together a mounting point for the actuator to actually lift the solar panel array. The trick with my solar panel array is that it's mounted flush with the roof of my truck. Typically for a tilting solar array, there has to be some kind of differential between with the level that the solar panel array sits at and whatever the actuator is gonna be mounted to. But in my case, those are both the same. So all the force that's being applied by that actuator is gonna be applied horizontally. So the principle behind what I'm building here is fairly basic. All I need to do is provide a mounting point for the actuator that is higher than the actual solar array so, so that that energy can be transferred vertically rather than horizontally. If the actuator mounting point is not vertical enough, it's basically just gonna rip apart my entire solar array and my mounting brackets on the ceiling and the roof and all that. So I got some square tubing here that I'm gonna use to make it basically a 90 degree bracket, drill some holes in it that I can then attach to the existing solar panel mounting array. The actuator mounting point that I'm using on the roof of the truck is essentially the same actuator mount that comes with the actuator when you buy it that I simply welded to some steel plates with a bunch of holes. And we're going to drill those holes directly through the roof. I know what you're thinking here. Oh, Mr. Barbarian, isn't the roof just sheet metal? It is, but not when you're this close to the edge. I'm actually using two and a half inch screws here because underneath that sheet metal, there's very thick robust aluminum framing that runs along the inside of the box. So our mounting point goes directly into the skeleton of the box itself and not just the sheet metal of the roof. It's worth noting here that this solar array in total weighs probably about 250 pounds. Each of the panels is about 50 pounds, plus all the framing and hardware that I added to it. And that's why we do overhead press. The actuator that I'm using for this is capable of lifting 600 pounds. This is a 250 pound solar array, but it's not going to be pushing 250 pounds because we're pushing it horizontally and vertically. So the leverage at play means that uh, we need to oversize the actuator by quite a bit to make sure that we have enough force to push this up easily and repeatedly over time. So transferring the load from the jack to the actuator for the first time. See what happens. We are on the actuator. Going down. I move all the safeties back. This is the easy part. 
We're just lowering it. We're not raising it up. We're working with gravity. Or rather, gravity's working with us. Yes, we can. We can go back up from here. The question is, can we go back up from here? Slow it first. Come on. Looks like it's working to me. If you can get to there, it can go all the way. Not hearing any creaks or cracks or booms or shattering or anything like that, so that's a pretty good sign. I'm gonna have to do some work on the wires around here, clean everything up here, reroute some stuff. I have to obviously finish the bolts on the bracket itself because it's just in testing mode right now but our first fit worked position wise and i got to finish treating the rest of the roof here stay tuned for a future follow-up video where i go over the official polished finished product here and then do an efficiency review comparing tilting solar panels versus flat solar panels link to the high boost 3.0 truck cell phone booster is in the description i'll see you guys on the next one